Hello and welcome back to MyBibleRegistration.com. I'm Minister Love, joined with Sister Sandy and Sister Gina and you two audience for another great lesson on this brand new series where we're, we're finding out, oh my, what? Well, today we're going to be talking about my distress. That's the key uh, in these scriptures today. We're looking for my distress. What is distressing us? So before we get into the lesson, uh, we're going to ask Sister Sandy to quickly open us up in prayer, please. All right. All right. Father God, we welcome you in. Jesus, we welcome you in. And Holy Spirit, we welcome you in today to this lesson to teach us about distress. What does it mean? Uh, how can we avoid it? So just give us wisdom, knowledge, understanding, just like we learn in Blaku, that that's what we're going to be doing today, finding out how to d avoid distress. In the name of Jesus, we pray this day. Amen. 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 Let me just start here with the premises. So we're, the key word is going to be distress today. So many of you may want to know, what is this distress? What does it mean? Distress is when your body, your spirit, your soul, and your body is out of order. When something has upset you, causing you to have anguish, anxiety, uh, depression. These things are a form of distress. And notice we are, are learning that my distress. See, we're busy looking at everybody else's distress, but guess what? Personally, I have my own distresses. So that's what we're going to be looking here today as we go through these scriptures. We want to look who is the scripture talking about? And what is this distress that they are going through? And we may go through it as well. So let's take a look. Minister Love going to start us off. Everyone go to Genesis chapter 35. And we're going to take a look at verse 3, 35, 3. And it reads, and let us arise and go up to Bethel. And I will make there an altar unto God who answered me in the day of my distress and was with me in the way which I went. Wow. Now this is Jacob. Now we know who Jacob is. He was the one, the same one that wrestled with God. We know that Jacob was the chosen one to start that generation of the children of Israel. And even Jacob is acknowledging that he got some distress in his life. I'm sure he probably did because remember he cheated his brother out of the birthright. I think that caused him, uh, Jacob to have some what? Distress. So are you guys seeing what we're seeing here today? You're not exempt. I don't care what your position is with God or without God. You're going to have some time, a period of distress. And it's your distress. Don't blame it on nobody else. Don't be trying to put your problems on somebody else. Own your own distress. So that's what we're seeing here today. All right, then. Okay, we got Sister Sandy going to take us to Psalms. Let's go over everyone. Psalms 18, verse 6. Psalms 18, verse 6. Okay, and this is uh, another Psalm of David, mm -hmm. and he's... Um, this was made into a song because he's still crying out because of Saul. So this is um, what he states. Okay. In my distress, I called upon the Lord and cried unto thy God. He heard my voice out of his temple, and my cry came before him even into his ears. So friends, if you're in distress and you just don't know which way to turn mm -hmm. and you know that the only way to get some relief from this is to cry out to God. Mm -hmm. Fall on your face, cry out to the Lord <laughs> and tell him your problems mm -hmm. and he will bring peace on you. He really mm -hmm. will. He will bring peace to you and give you help to get this distress out of you. Mm -hmm. And this is the same thing back thousands of years ago that King David did. Mm -hmm. He got on his face, he cried out to the Lord and he said, help me Lord. I can't take this because, you know, the physical body can only take so much. It really, mm -hmm. really can only endure so much. And so we just uh, plead with you today, find the Lord, come to the Lord, and then you can help get your distress or stress out. Okay? Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Sister Sandy. And notice what she said. She 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 didn't just say David. She said 
King David. So here we have a king, a king now of God's people, and he's having what? My distress. So again, no matter what your position is, I don't care what your title is, you gonna have some distress. Let social media say one thing about you negative. You gonna go all in a panic. You gonna start stressing out. He said this about me. They said, oh, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Stressing out, distress. You gonna have it. So get ready for it. All right then. Gina gonna close us out with 1 Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 7. Gina, read that for us. Therefore, brethren, we were comforted over you in all of our affliction and distress by your faith. So we got Paul saying that in their affliction and their distress. So even Paul, Mm -hmm. the writer of you know two what two thirds of the new testament had a lot mm -hmm. of distress and i you know you look on his life he had a lot of distress that's right whipped mm -hmm. uh no a lot of people didn't like him there was mm -hmm. a lot of stuff going on paul was shipwrecked and yeah and flogged and so mm -hmm. but he uh is commending the uh timothy and i guess the the church of where he, where he was i was mm -hmm. an atheist i'm not i'm not sure yeah. but he's like saying because of your faith my distress wasn't so distressful exactly exactly that is that is what he said and notice he said not only did he have distress but he had affliction so that's a combination. I mean, you going through some stuff and you named off some of the things that Paul went through. Shipwreck, uh, the, uh, the people persecuted him. They stoned him. Talk about being afflicted and all because, see, if you don't have no distress by being a believer, you ain't a true believer. Because if you've been called by God, truly been called by God, not by yourself and not by somebody else telling you you've been called. But when God call you, get ready. You gonna go through some distress. I'm a living witness. I have gone through some distress since God called me to do this teaching work uh, through uh, Black Coop Ministries and right here at mybibleregistration.com. But guess what? All of that distress and affliction makes me a what? Better person. And it will you as well. All right, then. Hey, listen, that's going to conclude this uh, lesson uh, right here at MyBibleRegistration.com. Sandy, quickly share with the audience what other website can they go to to get some really great Bible study lessons this year? Of course. Uh, SourceOutreachMinistries.com is another website we offer. Blanku mm -hmm. Ministries. Dot com also the bible talk show on the youtube channel and we're also on brighton.com uh, com for you to uh, go over there and get some lessons with minister love mm -hmm. so we have a lot of social media offered to you minister love also is on instagram so uh and gina has all her simplicity series uh spiritual warfare and i know she has some new series she's working on so we mm -hmm. offer you a lot to get your your lessons in with the lord okay Thank you. Amen. And when they get all these lessons, guess what? They ain't going to have no more distress. Amen. Sure. That's what the word of God do. It take all that distress and affliction away from you. All right, then. God bless you all. Thank you so much for joining us once again. You don't want to.